Hi guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Um, today I want to cover the importance of using Adobe Bridge. Um, it is a key component uh, for us in sorting our photos, renaming them, um, and really getting them organized. So I'm going to basically kind of just walk you through the process um, of how we sort through our photos when we first sit down to edit them. Um, this is the, this is Adobe Bridge opened here. And if you have the Adobe Creative Suite, if you have a membership to that, you should be able to download this. Um, I highly recommend it. So, um, and the other thing I wanna point out is if you take pictures, um, if you shoot in RAW, you are not going to be able to view those photos just in a normal like Windows photo viewer, um, something like that. You're not gonna be able to see them. Or if you go to you know, my computer or my documents and try to look at the pictures, you will not be able to see the thumbnails because they are raw files, um, but in Bridge you can. So um, I'm gonna find the down here and I'm on the film strip tab. Um, you see if you click essentials it's just these are just different layouts um, I use the film strip one so I'm gonna click on the SD card that my photos are on right now um, I'm gonna go to the next folder and the subfolder there and slowly they're gonna start to load here um, I was filming some photography tutorials so that's why um, when I click on some of these pictures you're gonna be like whoa those are awful um, there's a reason they're terrible. So um, I was trying to show the difference in camera settings. Um, so on these pictures, um, what I like to do, and it takes them sometimes a, a second to come into focus. What I like to do is go through at the very beginning and sort out all my pictures. Um, so when you're sitting down, if you have um, you know, a thousand pictures that are from a wedding, it's really hard to go through and sort them out. Like this one's good, that one's good, without making some folders. So what I usually do is I go to, um, uh, well, not that. What am I trying to do? File, new folder, and I'm gonna type best. And a new folder, other. So with these folders, I start going through one by one and I select the pictures that I think are best um, and I drag them over into the correct folder. Um, I'm not gonna go through and do this one by one right now, but just to give you an idea, let's find one here. It gives me a good idea. So this was one on a tutorial on shutter speed. So I'm gonna drag these two, and if you hold your control key down, or if you're on a Mac computer, hold your command key down, and click the pictures you want, you can select multiple. Um, so these two I'm gonna move to best, these two to other. Um, the other thing you can do is if you wanted to move all of the pictures to a certain folder, um, make sure one of them is selected, and then hit control A, and then you can move them to the folder. Now, if I wanted to move all these to the best folder, I obviously can't move a folder into, its own, into itself. So um, while I'm holding the control key down, I would unclick those and then I can move them all over, which I don't wanna do right now. Um, so from here, like I said, I would go through, I would drag over the ones that I don't like. Um, usually I'll go through and kind of look at you know, several of them and drag over the ones that give me a good idea here. Um, okay. And then I'll move these other ones like this to other. Um, and again, I keep doing that. Now, from here, um, I'm going to show you how you would basically move forward in the next process. So to do this, I'm going to um, open up another folder. I don't want to mess with these. I haven't edited these pictures yet. So um, I'm just going to go back to 
Okay, so I'm just gonna um, select a random folder here um, and show you um, basically what we do from here. So let's see if I can find something that has some, maybe some raw images. Okay, so you can see where I would have um, sorted these already. So here's the ones that I thought turned out the best. Um, here are some raw images um, in here of my little chunky biv. Um, and basically from here, um, I would then move on, select the ones that I want. So let's say I want to open all these. I would open them in camera raw. And um, I'll link to the camera raw tutorial so you can see um, how from here you would work within camera raw adjust your lighting, your um, your white balance, exposure, you do all that, and then within Camera Raw, you can rename the files. Um, and like I said, I'll, I'll link to that tutorial. Um, once you have them all renamed, you're gonna end up, you know, with your files that are named a certain way down here. It should normally, like ours would say, one, two, three, four, five, and so on, and there, um, at that point would be a JPEG. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can batch rename. It's so time saving. Um, if you are like me and you're very OCD, like I can't stand these things being renamed like this. Obviously I have them named that way for a reason. Um, I've edited them and I've made some changes and these are just my own personal photos. So um, I don't like this one, you know, doesn't have my logo, this one does. So that's what all those little different names are there. Um, but it, when we deliver photos to a client, we want to make sure that they, um, you know, that they look organized and professional and that we've finished them. You don't want to submit, or sorry, you don't want to um, deliver photos to a client that looks like this. In my opinion, I feel like that just looks like you didn't even do anything to the picture. Um, so again, let me link um, here to the tutorial on how to batch rename um, and copy pictures. So like we do all of our photos in color and black and white. So we edit the pictures, copy them over to a new folder, and then we want to batch rename those as well. So then we end up with one and then one BW for black and white. Um, I've linked that, um, but for the most part, that's it for working in Camera Raw. It's very simple. Um, you can right click and just rename one picture by itself if you want. Um, there's a lot of really helpful things to use um, Bridge for, I think I said Camera Raw, but to use Bridge. Um, so again, check out the other tutorials on working Thanks in Camera Raw and how Make to back. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.